Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. So today's video, we are going to be discussing an operator's guide for next week because this is going to drop on August 25. So here is our uh, is our guide. So more or less, I'll be posting a link on this guide for you guys to be able to read through the guide in detail and try to build your operator or your team of operators from scratch once this drops okay so we start first with the index so or the first would be how to get your operator all operator list and skills next how to raise your operator how to level them up and recommended operators again the ones that you should be focusing on and other tips for your operators so to start off there is actually two ways or there are actually two ways of getting your operator so it's the first would be operator gacha it's not recommended because it will you know you will be consuming you'll be consuming employment contracts if i can see here okay so more or less you have to go through the other you know the other way which is task point, point exchange if this is familiar to you guys, this is actually um, your task point uh, increases once you do summon. So one summon is equals to 10 task point. Unfortunately for me, I've been spending these already and I don't have I don't have that much. I have less than 200, I think if I can remember. Okay, so you can get operators from Gacha, but don't do that. It doesn't have the pity. So take note of that because again you won't be able to you I think you'll be wasting but again if you have a lot of you know a lot of resources then be my guest okay so that's it so SSR operators are purchasable with 3,000 task planet points okay so the SSRs are purchasable so how to get task points again run gacha one gacha is equals to 10 task planet points Okay, so those are the two ways. Again, I do hope you guys have saved enough task points to exchange for this one. Okay, so for our operators, we have from NR, SR, and SSR rarities. Most are most are actually valuable at SSR or the ones that you should be looking for are or at SSR. So the stats for your operators will be your basic stat. So at operator level 100, there's an additional, uh, th there is a combat power, ship HP, ship attack, ship defense, and ship skill haste. I assume that this is going to be additional stats or percentages that would add to your, you know, to your team, to the current ship that you're using. And the skill active order is wherein your active skill on the right side would kick in. So there is a, an order to which it triggers. So it depends on on the type of uh, on the type of operator that you're using. So again, the the what do you call this? The um, the sequence actually does not does it is not the same. It usually differs, and sometimes it triggers for certain types of units only. Okay. So and also for the skill effect, all squad members. Oh, sorry. Um, the skill effect actually affects kind of differently. Sometimes it affects all squad members. It affects the enemy for some. Some are simply counters or strikers. So again, you have to choose wisely on which operator you're going to bring. Again, for the active skill, there are certain durations for a skill. Certain effects as well that you have to check which, you know, is it is it really is it really um, ideal for your team, ideal for the situation, ideal for the game mode? And also there is cooldown available for your operators, as you can see here. So again, these are notes. I will be again I will I'll be posting this in the, my description for you guys to check out. Let's go next to your how to raise your operator. So operator has three level systems. So your level is one. Active, active skill is 2 and your passive skill is 3. So you have to level them with those specific categories. And you can change your passive skill. Similar to your gears, which you can change a specific 
uh, gear skill. Okay, so you can actually cha change your passive skill. So operator max level is at 100, similar to your regular units. But the, the what do you call this? The It's not going to be experience points that's, that you're going to use to level them up. So you can you will need the operator tactical data to level up your operators. You can get these by selling your existing operators. So if you have extra operators, you can convert them to these. Okay, you can or you can convert appraisals from workshop, but definitely not recommended because I think it's it's counterproductive that you do that. So so converting your existing operators that you're not using into tactical data would be would be better. So these are the ratio of, of conversions for N, R, SR, and SSR. So SSR is going to yield you these, so bigger yield, and then your N, which is only uh, 5 and 4 in the middle, and no, um, nothing on the purple side. Okay, so tip for oper operator level, get tactical data by converting N and R operators, only N and R. Because I'm sure you're going to use some of your SS SRs in 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 the start, especially if you don't have um, anything to pull for because you don't have the currency like me. So don't convert appraisals from workshop. You can easily make level 60 to 70. So it's not that much that difference from level 70 to 100, even in level one. Okay. So again. From the start, just use your SRs as you complete or as you summon for your SSRs. Okay, so active skill. So you will need, I think, copies of the same operator for your active skill. That is why you need to summon for them or recruit for them. You you eventually will have to because, again, you... You actually the best way is to purchase so it will take you a lot of time to to save up those those task points for you to get copies of a particular SSR operator okay so again dupes will will level up your active skill it has and it has a success rate so <laughs> these are the success rates it's not some it's not uh, actually a a hundred percent if you're below ssr so take note of that okay passive skill max 11 so for your active skill this is i think up to level eight correct so for your passive skill okay so there is also a rate in leveling it up so you can level with was the same passive skill okay so same passive skill you can actually use to level up your passive skill so passive skill change um there is you need same or higher rank operator to change passive skill so same or higher rank so it really depends on your rank so for you to change ssr you need ssr for you need to change sr you need ssr and sr okay so higher is better okay so if you want to change passive skill on an SR per unit, yeah, that I discussed that already. But it can see, but if you can see it is a maximum 50% trade, so you'll need, need to change the skill use dupes. Okay, passive skill list. This is what you want to look for in your operator. So non-preferred are air damage resistance versus formation damage, crit damage resistance, and speed up. The rest are highly preferred or highly recommended, especially your AOE damage resistance. Very good because again, it makes your team tankier, more resistant to damage. And again, these are your list of passive skills that you might consider once you are building your operators already. Okay, hit evasion for PVP is usually used. Crit damage, attack speed for PVE. Ground damage resistance, but but max level is 10. Distance, damage resistance, good, but ma max level is 15. AOE damage resistance is max 20%, but if enemy deals with basic attack, it does not work, okay? You must take note of that as well. So VS formation, so this is it, okay? So next would be your recommended operator. So if you plan to save up or build some of these operators these are your choices 
mostly um because again you when you start with the right operators you'll be able to invest you know resources in them if you invest with the wrong operators then you'll have to change operators in the future <coughs> so might as well invest in the good ones while you're at it so you have lena so general usage overall i think lena is going to be um lower than ssr lena let's see lena is going to oh no she's ssr so basically the, rec the recommended operators are all ssrs so you have lena uh, pros and cons acceptable for all situations so basically she's the generalist of the operators okay then you have lee seo yun striker squad so if you have more or less her striker squad which includes awakened yuna so again lee seo yun is actually the best for you olive park is good for pvp immune to debuff damage resistance hp recovery all great skills which I think I would focus on more for overall PvP impact. Hard to activate skill. It's more defensive than adding your damage. So debuff immune is really great for PvP. Okay, so Sigma. So general usage. Again, Sigma is here. She's an operator. The pros is easy skill activation. Great with defense. Active skill level up has good efficiency. So VS formation damage is calculated with... with, with by, by multiplying not that much damage up okay so more or less here are your four um recommended operators that you are you know that you should try to aim for especially if they're ssr but before that if you don't have them you could you know use some of the srs that are um, available for you and your other tips is number one is select an operator so generally L lsy uh, uh, and uh, Lena number two is PvP if you choose PvP focused it's going to be Olivi, Kim, Hannah, LSY and Lena know your type of PvP of course because again are you a defensive type of player are you offensive so again for defensive Kim, Hannah and Olivi, offensive would be LS LSY and Lena Best, pra best passive skills, so AoE damage resistance. Keep that in mind. If you buy from Planet, Planet Mall, go for one operator, like rerolling for AoE option, and level up with dupes. Okay, so I suggested would be again your Planet Mail or Planet Mall, because again, you need you at that point you can select, but it would you know take you a while to save up, uh, especially if you spent your <laughs> your task points. Okay, passive level up. Use at least SSR. R, ha R has too low percentage. Operator level up. Exchange and operators into tactical data. So again, you can take a look at this file. I'll be putting it in the, in the description so you could you guys can view it. So others here who to use. So just take a look at this file. Make sure that you mix or you you tailor fit your operators towards your play style towards your you know where you want to use it what are your team compositions so it would really be up to you once this um the operator um function in the game um operates i'm going to put out a more in-depth um individual what they call this individual feature on each operator especially starting with uh, probably with sr and ssr so that you will have more or less a clear because a clear um a clear vision on who to pair them with and how to play them as well okay guys so thank you for those who have gone this far in this video consider subscribing also please click the bell icon so that you don't miss any counter side videos also don't forget to put a like on Thank you guys. Stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.